Today, parents across the country are checking their medicine cabinets for recalled cough syrup. The now Zan McNamara asks a poison control expert how serious the risk of overdosing really is. When we're talking teaspoons, it's easy to pour too much cough syrup. So how much should parents really worry about this recall? Quite honestly, uh, this recall is really happening out of an abundance of caution on behalf of the manufacturer. Um, in most cases, the very small differences in dosing based on that size of the cap, like you mentioned, is unlikely to cause serious significant symptoms for most patients. The cap in question has the wrong dosage labeling. But keep in mind, it's small enough to fit on a four ounce bottle of grape cough syrup, expiration date August of next year, sold at HEB and CVS, or this lot of cherry syrup that expires in March 2017, sold at popular drugstores like CVS. CVS, Rite Aid, and Dollar General. Just take that dosing cap and go ahead and throw it away. The medicine itself is safe. Medicine itself is absolutely safe. So if the medicine is safe and no overdoses have been reported, why did the company Perigo voluntarily recall these products? Dextromethorphan, which is found in one of the two types of preparations that are being recalled, um, is associated with some significant effects in very large overdoses. Typically, those overdoses are much larger than the scale of what we would expect with this minor dosing error. With large overdoses, symptoms include rapid heart rate and hyperactivity. In small overdoses, kids show little to no symptoms. And it's fairly common. The Rocky Mountain Poison and Drug Center gets one call a day about cough syrup issues, most with happy endings. Most kids do just fine and don't have significant symptoms. For the now, I'm in McNamara. So that's good to know. But still, if you're concerned about an overdose, call your local poison control center.